We're going to try and play Cyberpunk 2077 today, but well, let me move this down so I can see my face. <laughs> we are going to be playing. It's in VR. This is Luke Ross. He is the freelance developer who has uh, developed this uh, VR mod. And to get the mod, you just have to pay him. $10 become a Patreon member. You can download uh, the mod and then you can unsubscribe afterwards if you want. But it's nice to leave $10 for him because he put a lot of work into this. It's just this. And I think the idea is just to copy this over here. Yeah, good. And then we just run real config.bat. So, so far there's no errors. And then we're gonna go uh, properties. Use des uh, desktop game theater while Steam uh, is active. Take that off. Okay. What did it say? Cyberpunk 2077 does not support VR. Uh, try it again. Oh, now something's happening. There we go. So, as you can see, I got it working. And it's working really well, I must say. I rem I know the mic from uh, uh, VR Oasis says that it this runs at 60 frames per second, but mine is running locally at 90. So he might have updated it really uh, since then. Because this is running really well and it looks absolutely awesome. Look at this. Look at this. We got some uh, sort of weird artifacting around these guys. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going, but uh, we can live with that, I guess. Let's see what the scanner looks like. Okay, this is, uh, this is really cool. It's absolutely perfect. So, I'm playing this at my desk, really, because, oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't mean to use that, but okay. Uh, playing this at my desk. Holy crap, that's a long way down. And uh, as long as I'm doing that, I can use the H2 headset and my Xbox uh, Series X controller. Okay, we need to go to uh, the Afterlife bar. So probably should just go to the quick save. I'm really used to VR. I have no problems moving around like this. If you're not used to VR, don't do this. Just walk slowly. Now I'm really glad I bought this on PC and not my PlayStation. In VR, all the details are popping and you pay a lot more attention to everything. It's like things I didn't see playing on Pancake that I now see and interactions with the NPCs. <laughs> it's really intimate. You spend a lot more time actually looking at the architecture and the interfaces like this are super immersive. It's almost impossible to consider that this game was made for VR and to sit down and play a game with an Xbox controller where you don't have to run around flailing your arms is actually quite comfortable. It reminds me a lot of playing Resident Evil 7. And some of these details like these plants, they have no business being this detailed unless it was actually made for VR. Some of the sequences even like feel like they were are perfect for this medium, except when oh. the camera takes over, <laughs> then it gets sort of nauseating. But the other thing is the action. The action is really fun. 
And I thought it would be disorienting running around like this, but it really isn't. And you're pointing with your head, everything you're looking at is where you're actually shooting. The only thing that's weird is of course that the gun is mounted to your face, but you get pretty fast used to it. And I'm actually playing this just as fast as I would any other FPS. But it's a lot more immersive and you feel like you're really inside the action. Like this slip and slide? That's really cool to do in VR. I can't help but think that this is getting an official VR update sooner or later. If they don't, oh, this is a missed opportunity because this is the ultimate way to play this game. So try it out, go to Mike Ross Patreon, have a blast, thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess I'll talk to you next time.